What the fuck? Hi, I'm Jerome, resident sex expert at LCASex.info. Welcome to Let's Talk About Sex, the show where we talk about sex. And today, we're confronting the genital taste problem. Oh, before we get started, I was interviewed by my friend Trent Nelson over at her site. Uh, it was a really good interview. The podcast is up right now. We got really in-depth about the origins of LTA sex, how I want to see gangbangs on every street corner in America, and why anal sex is so fucking awesome. It's a really good show. You guys should check it out. The link's down there somewhere. When it comes to sex, taste is really, really important. Sometimes that works to our advantage, like when you taste the salty skin on the back of somebody's neck and it's just like amazing. And then other times it works to our disadvantage when we taste like musty, gross, nasty skin and we want to run away. There's a wide margin of error there. And the reason for that is perception. What tastes gross to you may taste amazing to someone else. We know that with food and it's the same when it comes to genitals. So before you even worry about the taste, you should worry about the perception of the taste. Yes, I know that there is no amount of analyzing you can do that's gonna make something that tastes gross to you taste better, but it's just something to think about. And for those instances, I have these tips. The obvious one is hygiene. Make sure you're showering. Get some soap and water on that ass. Wash your genitals. Get all up under your junk. Make sure to get all in the folds, under the balls, on the perineum, everything. If you've got foreskin, make sure to pull that back and get under there. Now when you're showering, the type of soap you decide to use is really important. The two different types of soap you'll have to worry about here are antibacterial and deodorant. They mean two very different things. Deodorant means that it has some sort of chemical that actually deodorizes your body. Antibacterial means it has a chemical that's going to kill the bacteria on your skin. Depending on the cause, location, and intensity of the stink, you may need to choose a different type to get the job done. If you just got a bit of musk going on, then a deodorant soap is perfectly fine. It's going to be more gentle on your skin. Now, if you've got something foul-smelling like smegma going on, then you might want to go with the antibacterial soap. People with penises, you can use this all over your junk. You can even use it under the foreskin. Just make sure not to get it inside the urethra because that could be problematic. For those with a vagina, you can use it on the vulva and under the clitoral hood, but make sure not to get it inside the vaginal cavity because that will also cause problems. When people are recommending soaps, they often don't think about the third option, which is a scent-free one. If you're already using deodorant or antibacterial soap, switching to a scent-free soap might actually stop the problem. After you're done showering, air that shit out. Let your genitals dry so that they don't become home to bacterial colonies again. If just washing doesn't help, you might have to change up the way you live your life. Diet and exercise are two easy ways to change the scent of your body and the taste of your fluids. Drink lots of water. Don't smoke. Eat lots of fruits and veggies that are high in sugar, like pineapple, citrus fruit, fruits, carrots, that sort of thing, and you're going to want to stay away from some foods that are really strong in flavor. Asparagus, alcohol, garlic, onion, and curry are all strong flavors that can change the way you taste. When it comes to exercise, the act of moving and sweating is really, really good for your skin and genitals. It's a natural way to clear out your pores of all that dirt and bacteria that sometimes gets built up there, and it also helps to moisturize your skin by spreading those natural oils around. If you work out till you've got a good sweat going on, take a shower and do all the other tips I've given you, you should be good. But sometimes even that's not enough, and that's when you might want to go see a doctor. You may have some type of infection or pH imbalance. All right, that's about it for me today. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like what you saw, make sure to click like or subscribe. If you want to catch up with me, you can do that on Twitter at not Jerome Stewart. You can also send me an email, jerome at ltasex.info. You can find LTASex on Tumblr at ltasex.tumblr.com. You can find the Let's Talk About Sex Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash ltasexinfo. For more sexy stuff like this, make sure to check out the blogs at ltasex.info. Once again, thank you so much for stopping by. Until next time, I'm still Jerome. This is still Let's Talk About Sex. And I'll see you next time. Keep it sexy. Blech. It tastes funny. Ooh. I taste just like candy. So see it sweet me. I taste just like candy. I taste just like candy. So see it sweet me. I taste just like candy. So see it sweet me. I taste just like candy.